Welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fearsome Callista, our next rank up Sunday deck. Um, Callista has looked really, really impressive, and you know maybe uh, maybe like the card that's gained the most from the last two patches. Of course, two patches ago uh, changed the level up to be really nice, but you need to see four allies die, and that was just really tough. But now, change it so you only need to see three allies die. And of course, the third point of toughness. And Callista's looking really good for just a three-mana card. Like, a 4-3 Fearsome is is already a good threat, and they have to take out your Callista, because if they don't, if they, you know, if you just attack and have everything else die, this is a really, really big threat. So, really liking Callista. Um, pairing Callista with a lot of other Fearsome stuff here. So, you know, we're going back to Arachnid Horror, um, you know, obviously Elise, but then the Mist Wraith, Wraith Caller, all that kind of stuff. Barely Splashing. Uh, Frel Yord for two copies of They Who Endure. So we're at 38 Shadow Isles. Because I'm going with the Scuttlegeist also at the top end. Um, Scuttlegeist has looked pretty good playing against it a couple of times. And so I wanted to try it out myself. And I've been playing this deck uh, earlier today. And uh, really liking the Scuttlegeist. And I think this is a pretty strong deck. Just um, good size. Um, good size units that are just hard to, hard to block. And... Therefore, hard to kill in combat. So, here we go. Fearsome Callista. Let's get started. So far, rank up Sunday. You know, a couple of two threes. Um, you know, going to go for a better record here. And then we'll have, like, probably the two best decks in Legends of Runeterra with Karina Control and Ez Karma as our last two decks. Maybe this is the third best deck. Who knows? Well, this is a get rid of the atrocity, and we'll keep Elise, Callista, Wraithcaller, Wraithcaller. Yeah, we'll keep that. Just a bunch of threats. Well, I'm back on Noxus. Look how we're on the Shadow Isles board. <clears throat> well, that was a good pickpocket. Trading with the lease, that was a pretty good pickpocket. Alright, let's go Callista. Yeah. We'll save the skitter. The skitter could do a lot of work later. Okay. I'll trade with two Mystic Shots. That's fair. I could see horror plus Elise being a better, uh, being a better trade-off. Does Chump Up say I heard Rar? Or am I mishearing that? That's what it sounds like. So I don't know what I heard RAR means. That egg. Did it move? Certainly possible I'm mishearing that. Alright, so that's their last mystic shot. They've played all three. That's their three targets. It's not Yone time yet. Let's play one one card that puts eight power into play. 
across three bodies. Them five for Ezreal. I would not have minded Vile feasting one of them to make it, you know, four for Ezreal, but decided Where there is life, decided there against is it. Hapless Aristocrat looks pretty bad. I should have Valfi said one of those other things to keep one target off of Ezreal earlier. There you go, BJJ. You got all the champions you wanted before. Awesome. So yeah, you can save up for Maokai now. Nice. I like it. Hey, Metal World Gaming coming in with a raid. What's up, everybody, from Meta, Meta World Gaming Stream? What's up, everybody? We are having, on Sundays, we usually play like some of the best ranked decks and. Uh, you know, having a rank up Sunday, but it's not going according to plan yet. With our two threes of the first two deck, first two decks, um, we have like rank up Sundays and then rank down Mondays. <laughs> we go, we play meme tier Monday decks. Our plan doesn't work too well if we don't actually rank up on, <laughs> on today. Opponent's not going easy. Going down to one. It's weird that they would. Oh, right. Jury Ray can't block anything else. Okay. Well, that's fair. All right. We do have a. Tr we do have two atrocities in the deck. So we could draw one of the two atrocities. Not really a reason to play these things right now. At least we'll attack and bring along another spider anyway. We'll, like, we'll have six attackers. Atrocity. Nope. So this likely means... Likely means Withering Whale, and likely means that we're dead. Karma's pretty ridiculous. So leveled up Karma against uh, eight cards. Most likely we're losing.
Well, that's kind of a good sign. Wow, that's a really good sign. They can still hit... Oh, wait, they, they this isn't a Withering Whale deck. I'm just so used to playing against Withering Whale, but yeah, they, they don't have Withering Whale. Yeah, Karma pretty OP, but... We still have lethal for now. Until one more removal spell. Yeah, Karma pretty OP. So the good news is there isn't any. That's it. That's it. That was the end of that statement. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Yeah, that that was gonna be my that was gonna be my statement was that the good news is that they burned an Ezreal. But Glimpse beyonding the five five because it's the hardest thing to kill. Yes. Oh wait, that doesn't kill them anymore. No. They're at four. can try to kill the karma to make them you know play more things before this we gotta try Karma pretty OP. <laughs> the two mana gain 12 life um, was pretty rough the previous turn. Yep. I tried. I guess I mulliganed the atrocity. I probably just should not have mulliganed the atrocity. Do you think it's Karma or Ezreal that's more broken? Is the question. I don't know. They both are. I don't, I don't know. I can definitely see and agree with arguments for both.
Yeah, I mean, Karma does some incredibly broken things, especially how Karma's spell is, you know, like, is two mana, burst speed, draw four spells. That's completely insane. But then again, the things that uh, Ezreal does is completely insane as well. Yeah, uh, that's a link to the deck right there <clears throat> for this deck, and I will go to it and get the code for you. There you go, there's the code. I'm just Lena Lee Sing. Some it's a bit spider. Probably not the best of tacks. Play this thing. So I think this is all Shadow Isles Splash Deny. I think that's what we have going on here. I need to cast this during combat. Post combat, they could have like Chronicler of Ruin that resets this. They can now glimpse beyond where they can't glimpse beyond during combat. So well, I'll just play the Wraith Caller. Call some Wraiths. Getting all misty eyed. This card is misty eyed raids. Yep, and that's why I need to do that during combat. Too many spiders. Too many of these little spiders. It's kind of working out that I didn't use the Vile Feast earlier. Was for a little bit at least. So I'm going to be atrocitying and, and killing the Callista. They did have that glimpse beyond. So that's a bummer. They had the, the glimpse beyond.
Hey, Void, Void Deck, yeah. I, uh, I changed my name, Void. Um, changed the stream name. Because I wanted a stream name without any games in the title, so going with Hawktie. For my late great cat, Hawkeye. Don't get to double spell this turn, no matter what we did. Yeah, no problem. Happy to have you here. This will be them going down to one. So we can glimpse beyond so they don't go to one. They have to have another source of life gain or removal. Which maybe they have, maybe they don't. But we're at least forcing them to. Okay. They do. Right. Keep playing. I want to get the Skitter and play before Brood Awakening. Hapless Aristocrat has not looked good. It's not looked very good. Atrocity has looked good. Quick observations. Oh, I need to get rid of this Noxus board. I need to go back to our Shadow Isle board. Can't change your board during the game. All right, so they're doing this to be able to level up Callista. They play deny, so I don't need to just throw down atrocity right now because they do play deny. Well, now we're good. All right, we're one and one on the Noxus board. Load out. Cursed Ruins. And we'll get all gloomy tea, gloom tooth. Old gloomy. All right, hapless aristocrat. We'll keep one of you, but I'm not super excited about it. You better do something. You better do something. Don't think I won't just mulligan you every time I see you if you're not doing anything. Because I'll do it. All right, go get in his way. What's the plan? We shoot them. Uh, this isn't good. All right, we're taking a lot of damage. 
I guess I block. Yeah, we block. Um. Yeah, the new card. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing. Yeah, Valentina Love. I'll be doing like a stream where we really go through and talk about all of the new cards after their. Uh, after they finish, you know, previewing all of them so that, you know, we have, like, the bigger picture and can talk about them all together and everything. But, yeah, Vi looks real interesting. Looks, you know, looks pretty comparable to Thresh. Um, but looks real good. But it, you know, is in a different, you know, it gives, it gives Piltover and Zahn a mid-range, a real good mid-range card that as a regent built over and Zon didn't really have. Man, that's like cheating. It's Bright Seal Protector. Cheating. So yeah, after after we know all the cards, we'll we'll spend an entire stream day, you know, we'll 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 take a long time, you know. We'll talk about every card in depth, how we can use it, um, what it, you know, what it can do, and uh, all that kind of stuff. It'll it'll be a lot of fun, you know. We'll we'll have a real long stream and you know break it up by region, but it'll be a fun discussion. I hope hope everybody joins in for that. I don't know exactly when yet, cause I don't I don't know exactly when they're gonna finish all the previews. Um. They're not going to release the entire set until the day before. Feels like they should give it a, a little bit longer than that. That doesn't seem like good planning, but... Oh, well, that's, that's their plan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Bannerman. Oh, Bannerman. What'd you do? You ruined everything. Oh no. Bannerman. Why would you do that? Oh no. In the name of our land. Missed your chance to run. This will be three out of four for Lucian. Oh, that Bannerman probably just killed me. But maybe not. Maybe not. Vile Feast to be, able to be able to destroy a barrier if it comes to that. Alright, so we can play a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's not bad. Or we can play Wraith Caller plus Arachnoid Horror. Which that's also not bad. I think I like getting all these things out.
We attacking. No, I meant the entire set, BJJ, because I'm, I'm planning on talking about every single card, not just every single champion. So I, I guess if that's the day before, then, then I guess that's my stream the day before. So that will be not tomorrow Monday, but the next Monday after that. That will get us all hyped up for Tuesday. With the set releasing. Oh yeah, expansion preview thumbnails, absolutely. Absolutely. Which I think they're just calling it, like, set one. It's kind of lame they don't have a better name for it than that. That was a really good card for them to have. Yeah, that was really good. Burn away the shadows. There's a lot of ways we can be dead. Cool. Might was one of them. You're covered. bad. Oh, they... They messed up, right? Aren't they supposed to attack with a 3-2 also? Wait, they just had Might the whole time? I guess they, I guess they just didn't need to use it. They're supposed to attack with a 3-2. Also, but... They had might. I think that's a match that we're gonna win most every time, but they had you know, they kinda had had it all with turn two leadership and turn three Santa. Really set them up well. Um and then yeah, you know, like that the might with those things is is awesome. But I think that's a, a match we'll normally win. Just didn't win it this time. Alright, we're going full on spider mode. Activate spider mode. Get our sneaky spiders. Feast this. He'll also die to Withering Wheel. Could be too scared of Elise dying. 
kind of want to drop Elise and Brood Awakening and level up Elise right away. That could be me too scared of Elise dying. Possibility. Yeah, that's true. The, yeah, the name of the new region yeah, could be the name of the expansion. That would work pretty well. But as far as we know, they're just naming it like Expansion 1. You know, like Legends of Runeterra set 1. Being all lame like that. There's no reason Callista should be attacking. Yeah, Blidgewater is the, that's the set that I think the most, that's the region the most people have said that they think the set's going to be. Aristocrat, you still don't look like you do anything. So now this is tough. If I try to Vile Feast the Callista, they can uh, they can sacrifice their own Arachnid Horror in response and level up Callista so it doesn't die. I think we just want to get the bodies out here. I think we need to just not worry about Callista and just get these bodies out and just you know keep attacking, keep putting waves of attackers down. So yeah, that was their plan. Glimpse beyond to level up Callista, and I couldn't, I couldn't stop that. I didn't have the mana to do both whale and feast. So I'm glad that I didn't worry about it. I'm gonna try to clear these things out with 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 the help of Withering Whale first, and then attack. I may end up regretting it, of course. You know, we're giving them the opportunity to spend all their mana, so I may end up regretting this.
think I regret it too much. All right, can we get eight more points of damage across? Oh, you know I'm supposed to play this hapless aristocrat. My opponent's deck has a whole lot of really good cards in it, but I don't know if they work that well together. I don't know, but they do have a lot of good cards. Just a deck of good cards. Grasp the Undying, stop. Alright, well, we haven't seen any Callistas. Um, I guess I can wait till next turn to play Withering Whale and Vile Feast. I guess. We haven't, we haven't seen, basically seen our top end. There we go. Just gonna put this here. I haven't really been drawing those at all. I wanted to see if we could get some more, uh, you know, creatures with our Withering Whale. You know, maybe we could do some more damage to some more stuff. Quist, are you going to help me out? They who endure would be pretty big. No, Callista, don't leave me. Dang. All right, well, opponent has fully taken control. All we have is this worthless, hapless aristocrat. Card has not been good. Well, they played that perfectly against my Withering Wheel. Technically, hapless aristocrat trades with those. Technically. If we ever draw They Who Endure, that card's gonna be real big. They could be saving, you know, a vengeance for it. Attacking doesn't make any sense anymore. Oh my gosh, why do we keep drawing the worst card in the deck? Good news, we can't draw Hapless Aristocrat anymore. It's not possible. We got the worst card twice in a row. I should just attack. Ew. 
This is unfortunate. Looks like... Looks like we're one and three. There are fears on Callista deck. Come on, they who endure. You're the card I need. It's gonna be like a, you know, 26 26 or something ridiculous like that. I'm surprised they're not casting any of these mushroom clouds, especially now that I'm at four and I only have 18 cards. There they finally go. I feel like they should have done that last turn. But definitely this turn. Two against Ezreal. That, that game obviously wasn't really Ezreal. That game was me drawing those three hapless aristocrats in the late game. Just complete time walks. All three of those turns just drew the most worthless card in the deck for three turns in a row. We just can't do that. Well, it wasn't three turns in a row. It was like three out of four turns. Valfi's good against Barrier. Do you like Scuttlegeist? I like that card. It's a card I haven't really used too much before today, but I've been really, really impressed with it today. Alright, that's good. Opponent's got a worthless card. That's good for us. Lux Thresh being a Cursed Keeper deck. I wasn't really expecting that. No! We gotta replace, there's gotta be something, there's gotta be a card that does something for one mana, right? Is this the most overrated card in Legends of Runeterra? This is in so many decks everywhere. This is the most overrated card. Especially in this metagame where everything's about 1-1s one and, and killing 1-1s one and... 
everybody's playing tons of one ones. I guess that would make this card better. But it's kind of what we're doing here is just going over the top of everybody playing one ones and killing one ones and stuff. We're trying to go over the top and have these fearsome cards instead. I'm not sure if Warden's Prey is better than Hapless Aristocrat. I'm not sure. Potentially. But not definitively. Omen Hawks. Omen Hawk is so much better. We should just be playing Omen Hawks. I'm only playing two They Who Endure, so that would only give me five. Like, if I played Omen Hawks, that would give me five Freljord cards. Hey, new Bloco doing great. Omen Hawk is a whole lot better. Hmm. I could see doing that. So this is awkward because I want to play Callista, but obviously I don't want to play Callista because they have Lancer. So if I don't play Callista, we're doing a whole bunch of nothing. I guess they did a bunch of nothing too. What's up, Rivalis? Yeah. Been playing a lot of Legends of Runeterra. Into battle with hearts aglow. Get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, change. Change the stream name to not have any games in the stream name, but yeah, this is the game that I've been playing for the last couple of months. This, uh, you know, really enjoying it and everything. This game is so balanced and uh, well put together and pretty awesome. Don't know what we're going to do about this Lux quite yet. We'll figure that out as we go. Yeah, I saw the Vi reveal. I always have to I have to think about like how to pronounce that name this is my quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it looks like another good champion. It gives Piltover an actual mid-range champion to have. Well, that is game. It's not technically game, but we can still steal it with they who endure.
Oh, so many things to do. What do we want? What do we want to do? Yeah, we, yeah, earlier, um, at the beginning of the stream, we were, uh, Twitch chat was, like, giving me a lesson on, like, how to produce, or how to pronounce that name, but just reading it, the V-I, I don't think Vi, and so I have to, like, after, like, whenever, you know, you ask the question about the card, then I have to think in my mind, you have to process, okay, how do I pronounce that again? Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're doing it. Do they attack? Hey, Ruvalis! Thanks for the tier one sub. You are awesome. Thank you so much. All right, out. Isn't that how I do it? Yeah. My hype boats aren't sh showing up. Do y'all see a hype boat if I if I type it out like that? No, I haven't played the Final Fantasy VII remake because I don't I don't have a PS4. I would love to play it, but yeah, no PS4, so. Okay, you see it? Okay. On my screen, it doesn't show up. So they're gonna kill everything I got. That back to back. This combo wins the game for us. It's my only hope. All right, so do I do 13 damage to them, or do I try to, or do I kill Lux? I mean, I guess if I if I actually want to try to win this, killing Lux is what I have to do. I don't think we have a chance if I just do 13 to them. Like, we're not going to beat Lux. See, so, yeah, like, maybe, you know, the Brood Awakening trades with two of these. Okay. Well, well we're still not beating Lux. Yeah, they, Vengeance was the card they needed. That's that's just what's been happening today. Our opponents have just been having everything they need. It's been a rough day with that. But that's what happens some days, though. Had no easy wins. Not many. 
when he wins the game. Well, that's all right. That's all right. So one thing we've learned is we need to bench Hapless Aristocrat and get that card out of here and play Omen Hawk instead. That's step one. Alright, they're going to go into Atrocity. That's what it looks like. Not atrocity. All right, let's move on. Twenty five hundred, the lowest I've ever been. And we're going to be doing meme tier Monday tomorrow. Oh, this may not get better. But yeah, I definitely want Omen Hawk instead. And I want... I want one Black Spear over... Over a Withering Whale. And one more Black Spear over... Or... We need... Like the the vile feast haven't been like the vile feast withering whale hasn't been like the best interaction. That's our only interaction. So I feel like we need like a, a black spear or a vengeance. We go with just a, a black spear to start with. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Those little changes for next time. But I'll keep I'll keep working on this. Like I was having good success with this deck earlier today. I was for like off stream. Cause I was, you know, I put the the deck together and I was playing it. I was four and two off stream, so I, you know, like I felt pretty good about the deck going in, and like one of those two losses was, you know, like while I was still kind of like testing out different numbers and before I got to this, and I felt good with this, but uh, yeah, not so much though. Opponents had everything they needed in those games. Anyway, there's fearsome Callista. Um, yeah, I still do like Callista, and I do like all the, these fearsome creatures, but, um, you know, the games don't always go your way. Anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck, and uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, I know it's a little bit more aggressive, like we're not going, like, Rekindler and everything. Um, maybe that's just what we have to do, is go Rekindler and, you know, just the normal Shadow Isles top end, but, you know, feel free to leave a comment over there. All right, but anyway, thanks for watching some Fearsome Callista, and I'll see you for the next video.